um, Italian designer like this. Just a quick one, battery's about to die, but uh, we've got the pipe work and electric again. We just have to strip all this paneling off again, insulate a pipe and pass it through us up just past the doorway now, ready to connect in when needed. Extract a fan and an additional fan if needed. Um, is an inline exhaust fan if I need that, in addition to the hood ones. Um, pipe work, start to trim the timber back. Got to fill that in and uh, do the bit behind the sink as in the last bit. And suddenly the bloody room's full of stuff. And uh, the floor's still bloody sticky, but I can't wait. So, well, I'll just have to deal with it afterwards. We've mocked up the doorway, or well, partly anyway. It's just held in with a couple of screws at the minute. That panelling's in again, it's just um, old pallet wood, pallet tops. Um, so, there's a little bit. A thickness variation in the joint there but most of it will be hidden by the walk-in fridge um, and uh, I had a piece of wood that was two inches short to perfectly fit up there bloody typical isn't it anyway so uh, I've got to sort these bits and pieces out do the lecky and uh, see where we go from there hopefully uh, have a clear up so we can see the wood for the trees as it were and uh, starting the next phase of head scratching and swearing. Well, oh boy, one o'clock in the morning. This morning I finished just to get the lights up, which are there. As you can see, they're not functioning yet. Well, one is temporarily there. But, uh, we're still on the old temporary one at the minute. But uh, it was a bit of a nightmare. I wanted to get it done, uh, resulting in a one o'clock finish in the morning, just to get the bloody things up. Because uh, I was going to try and uh, fix them across. Because uh, there's four of them, so I mean, one, two, three, four. But they are designed to interlink. The kits I had with them only meant I could use two singly or two rows um, of a pair which is this one here it's joined all the way across they are suspended on little uh, steel cables I'll show you uh, obviously they're designed to um, be a lot further away from their mounting point than this but uh, there's plenty of room there. there's a good four foot of three four foot of steel wire which is all coiled up inside the advantage is obviously with the roof being um, sloped, the lights can, <laughs> I don't know whether it'll show on there, um, I mean they're not level but they go at a lower angle um, because I wanted enough height. I've left them, I could mess about with them but I've had enough of them to be honest with they were an absolute friggin nightmare. They're um, Italian designer lights which sounds good but generally means they're shit. Build quality wise, um, they're solid. But there's stuff like this to cover the light. It's just a metal tray sits in, it doesn't attach, it doesn't fit, it doesn't click in, it just lies there. There's also, um, doesn't show it on this one, five wires. You've got your earth, your neutral, number one is your live, and then you've got three and two, which loop through. There's even another set of wire in there for a dimmer control, not on these lights, but uh, the first one I put up and um, thought I'll just bang a temporary little feed into it, leader with a plug top, and it fired up and then almost instantly, a couple of seconds, turns itself off. Well, oh, maybe I've got a dicky wire, messed about with it, no, try it, plugged it back in again, fires up turns off. So I had the other one, uh, this one, put that on the floor and swapped the tubes round. Tubes all worked fine so obviously the electronic ballasts in this have, are duff. I mean sometimes if one doesn't work the pair won't work but 
<laughs> it was getting on and I thought, oh, well, I've got three, let's try it. So I tried each one before I put it up after that. So I've got three that work. The light they project, obviously, I think it's Cat 2 lights. They're not, you know, they're designed for office environments so you don't get glare off of VDUs and things. Reduce eye strain. Um, let's just try and find the right plug for... No, wrong one. That's it. That's without the big flurry on. As you can see, it's... Dim. <laughs> They're only, oh, what are they, 58 watt tubes? It's quite subtle, shall we say. I don't know what the other ones are like, lit, 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 lit up. But, um, yeah, they're not overly impressive. Um, but they're up now, and I really cannot be fecked with um, moving them and swapping them around. So, uh, well, at least I won't get ice drain. No good for video and brew days, but then I'm not too worried about that because... Oh, wrong one again. <clears throat> I have a plan. So obviously we're going to have some lights on the hoods, which I'm going to swap out for LED ones. Um, and not the little tungsten crappy things. As you can see up there, strange place for a double socket in the ceiling. But the plan is I have a, um, a stage light which I'm planning on fitting probably over there somewhere. So the cable will run all the way across there and plug into there. And the other side, I have um, an industrial fly zapper, you know, one of those um, ultraviolet, or whatever they are, um, things that electrocute all the little flying beggars. So that can be hung here somewhere, because obviously this one won't be in here. Um, and if these lights aren't a lot of cop, I have, Jesus, I've got loads of frigging lights from auction buyouts and things. Emergency bulkhead lights and some more of these old things. So, you know, if they're, if they're a bit of a fail, then I'll probably put a couple of five foot twin LEDs in at some stage when the budget has room. <clears throat> I'm going to have them on separate switches, so... You know, if I'm just sitting in here doing my own thing or whatever, I can have these two on and don't need that one on. But to, Or at a later stage, you know, the uh, upper lighting will be combined into one switch and the other switch can serve the additional lighting. Which leaves me sort of cabling uh, along here. A, I try not to break my neck on everything. So we've, um, we're still in the midst of doing this one, but... You can see up there the uh, flex comes out of the point and um, we'll go to a junction box to the twin and earth flat grey stuff that goes down there and we'll go somewhere to a switch to be arranged uh, and along with the other one that comes along this side and goes around there and down there also and we've got the other cables up there ready to um, go around for the loop uh, got that one to do I was in two minds whether to put a single or a double on there, but I might go for the double. I've got um, a twin box, so one uh, fused spare will be for the extractors, the other one for the other extractor or the inline extractor, which will leave that one spare because I have a, if it still works, a dehumidifier, a wall-mounted one that came out of a big old swimming pool. Um, so I might be able to use that to suck out some of the humidity if it gets a little bit too... Um, Swedish saunery in here on uh, on brew days and as you can see Mr. Pissed Square Halls is gone we've uh, fitted those and a couple there they're all done still got a cable clip round there to a junction box and then carry on round here with the uh, to be confirmed positions and uh, run that one into it along here somewhere and then obviously back to wherever the consumer unit lives up here. So a little bit more progress um, today has sort of just been cable clipping and uh, that will be today really is a bit more electrical routing. Also got to think about uh, a computer point as well, um, an Ethernet 
I've got the uh, 50 meters of outdoor stuff to come and uh, electronic switch comes in here somewhere but uh, that's sort of not one of the primary jobs so today I hopefully will get this closed up um, get the door out and the framework removed and get the big fridge in hopefully today stroke tomorrow and get a coat of something on here or on two of these get this cleared out yet again that's about the third time I've done it there was absolutely like a bomb went off in here yesterday with all the packaging from the lights so a little bit more progress so uh, to be continued <laughs>